A coupled map lattice is a dynamical system that models the behavior of nonlinear systems. They are predominantly used to qualitatively study the chaotic dynamics of spatially extended systems. This includes the dynamics of spatio-temporal chaos where the number of effective degrees of freedom diverges as the size of the system increases. Features of the CML are discrete time dynamics, discrete underlying spaces, and real, local, continuous state variables. Studied systems include populations, chemical reactions, convection, fluid flow and biological networks. More recently, CMLs have been applied to computational networks identifying detrimental attack methods and cascading failures. CMLs are comparable to cellular automata models in terms of their discrete features. However, the value of each site in a cellular automata network is strictly dependent on its neighbor from the previous time step. Each site of the CML is only dependent upon its neighbors relative to the coupling term in the recurrence equation. However, the similarities can be compounded when considering multi-component dynamical systems. Introduction A CML generally incorporates a system of equations, a finite number of variables, a global or local coupling scheme and the corresponding coupling terms. The underlying lattice can exist in infinite dimensions. Mappings of interest in CMLs generally demonstrate chaotic behavior. Such maps can be found here. List of chaotic maps. A logistic mapping demonstrates chaotic behavior, easily identifiable in one dimension for parameter r greater than 3.57. It is graphed across a small lattice and decoupled with respect to neighboring sites. The recurrence equation is homogeneous, albeit randomly seeded. The parameter r is updated every time step. The result is a raw form of chaotic behavior in a map lattice. The range of the function is bounded so similar contours through the lattice is expected. However, there are no significant spatial correlations or pertinent fronts to the chaotic behavior. No obvious order is apparent. For a basic coupling, we consider a single neighbor coupling where the value at any given site is mapped recursively with respect to itself and the neighboring site. The coupling parameter is equally weighted. Even though each native recursion is chaotic, a more solid form develops in the evolution. Elongated convective spaces persist throughout the lattice. History CMLs were first introduced in the mid-1980s through a series of closely released publications. Caprell used CMLs for modeling chemical spatial phenomena. Kuznetsov sought to apply CMLs to electrical circuitry by developing a renormalization group approach. Koneko's focus was more broad and he is still known as the most active researcher in this area. The most examined CML model was introduced by Koneko in 1983 where the recurrence equation is as follows. Where an is a real mapping. The applied CML strategy was as follows. Choose a set of field variables on the lattice at a macroscopic level. The dimension should be chosen to correspond to the physical space being researched. Decompose the process into independent components. Replace each component by a nonlinear transformation of field variables on each lattice point in the coupling term on suitable chosen neighbors. Carry out each unit dynamic successively. Classification The CML system evolves through discrete time by a mapping on vector sequences. These mappings are a recursive function of two competing terms, an individual nonlinear reaction, and a spatial interaction of variable intensity. CMLs can be classified by the strength of this coupling parameter. Much of the current published work in CMLs is based in weak coupled systems where diffeomorphisms of the state space close to identity are studied. Weak coupling with monotonic dynamical regimes demonstrates spatial chaos phenomena and are popular in neural models. Weak coupling unimodal maps are characterized by their stable periodic points and are used by gene regulatory network models. 
space-time chaotic phenomena can be demonstrated from chaotic mappings subject to weak coupling coefficients and a popular in-phase transition phenomenon models. Intermediate and strong coupling interactions are less prolific areas of study. Intermediate interactions are studied with respect to fronts and traveling waves, riddled basins, riddled bifurcations, clusters and non-unique phases. Strong coupling interactions are most well known to model synchronization effects of dynamic spatial systems such as the Kuramoto model. These classifications do not reflect the local or global coupling nature of the interaction, nor do they consider the frequency of the coupling which can exist as a degree of freedom in the system. Finally, they do not distinguish between sizes of the underlying space or boundary conditions. Surprisingly, the dynamics of CMLs have little to do with the local maps that constitute their elementary components. With each model a rigorous mathematical investigation is needed to identify a chaotic state. Rigorous proofs have been performed to this effect. By example, the existence of space-time chaos in weak space interactions of one-dimensional maps with strong statistical properties was proven by Bun Imovich in Sinai in 1988. Similar proofs exist for weakly hyperbolic maps under the same conditions. Unique CML qualitative classes CMLs have revealed novel qualitative universality classes in phenomenology. Such classes include spatial bifurcation and frozen chaos, pattern selection, selection of zigzag patterns and chaotic diffusion of defects, spatiotemporal intermittency, soliton turbulence, global traveling waves generated by local phase slips, spatial bifurcation to downflow in open flow systems, visual phenomena. The unique qualitative classes listed above can be visualized by applying the Kaneko 1983 model to the logistic map. Several of the CML qualitative classes may be observed. These are demonstrated below. Note the unique parameters. Quantitative analysis quantifiers. Coupled map lattices being a prototype of spatially extended systems easy to simulate have represented a benchmark for the definition and introduction of many indicators of spatio-temporal chaos. The most relevant ones are the power spectrum in space and time, Lyapunov spectra, dimension density, Kolmogorov sinai entropy density, distributions of patterns, pattern entropy, propagation speed of finite and infinitesimal disturbance, mutual information and correlation in space-time, Lyapunov exponents, localization of Lyapunov vectors, co-moving and subspace-time Lyapunov exponents, spatial and temporal Lyapunov exponents.